Well, hello there. You're watching the official Theme Park Vans YouTube channel, and welcome back to another um, Theme Park Vans Q and A. We haven't done a Q and A for a while, so I'm very happy to be doing one. Now, before we start the Q and A, I just wanna um, tell you guys some news. Um, obviously, this video you're currently watching right now it's in better quality. Hey, now um, I've had a lot of feedback. Um, um, you know, a lot of people saying. You you should upload in higher quality now. Um, the reason why I upload, um, like literally all of my uploads that I have ever done have always been in three hundred and sixty p. Um, and obviously three hundred and sixty p is low quality, but it allows me to put the videos out faster. Um, but with high quality videos, they'll take a little bit longer and. Um, but it'll be better quality for you guys. So, um, I think this is the way I'm going forward now. You know, higher quality, but takes longer to upload. But better quality means better videos. Um, now, obviously, if, if you remember, um, what day did I film this? Uh, was it Tuesday? Or was it Monday? I, th I think it was Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember. Wait, was it Monday? Yeah, I think it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. Monday. Um, <laughs> Alton Towers, obviously, <laughs> um, made changes to the park operations for the 2018 season. And if you saw that video, I wasn't very happy. Um, obviously, I went on a really angry rant. Um, I made that video private. The reason why I made that video private is because, you know, I, I kind of look back on it. I kind of looked back on it and, you know, I just thought it was pathetic and childish, you know, to have an angry rant about park operations. And then the day after and the day after that, I didn't really feel anger, but more like disappointment. But, <laughs> I don't know whether Towers saw my video or not, or they probably just would have seen a, a big backlash from the enthusiasts like me. And they've reversed those changes, and this is what it says now. We look forward to welcome, welcoming you to Alton Towers Theme Park. We offer early access to the theme park for Merlin annual pass holders and resort hotel guests with a selection of rides and attractions available for your enjoyment, including our brand new for twenty, our brand new ride for twenty eighteen Wicker Man. Theme park opens to all of the guests from ten a.m. Park open and close hours will always be flexible to ensure we can give our guests great experiences. If the park is busy, we'll always do our best to stay open. And um, they're also saying that all rides will open at 11am by the latest. So, um, think of this move. Um, it, it's a step in the right direction. It's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, but... Ideally, I would like to see all attractions open by 10.30, so that would be really good. But anyway, guys, um, now I'm going to get straight into the Q&A. Okay, guys, here we go. Um, it's our first Q&A in um, months. Let me see when the last... Okay. The last one I did was on the 20th of September 2017, when I was on holiday in Kefalonia. <laughs> but anyway... I've only got one question, and it's from Park Boys, and the question is, um, what's your favourite and least favourite dark ride? Um, wait, let me see that question again. Sorry, I, I just didn't, like, ugh, read it through. Let me just see that question again. Um, what is my, what is my favourite and least favourite dark ride? Okay, my favourite dark ride, um, let me think. My favourite dark ride? This is a really good question. Um, if you're talking about rides, dark rides in the UK, I would say Hex. Um, if you're talking about dark rides in Europe, um, let me think, what dark rides have I been on in Europe? Let me think. Um... God, this is a hard question. Um, um, let me think. 
I think one of my favourite dark rides, I know it, it's an indoor coaster, but it's still kind of darkish, would be, um, what is it? Um, Eurosat, Eurosat. I know it's an indoor coaster, um, but it is pretty much dark in that building. Um, talking of Eurosat as well, it's it's getting a few changes. It's now going to be, for this season, it's going to be called the Eurosat Can Can Coaster. So, weird name, I know, but... And it's also going to have virtual reality, which I assume, like Alpine Express and Pegasus, even though Pegasus doesn't have virtual reality anymore, I assume it will be optional, which is really good. And my least favourite dark ride, I don't think I have a least favourite. Um, but there we go. So thank you guys for watching another q and I know I only had one question. But if you would like to leave a question for the next Q&A, then please do comment below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like the new quality, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and what else? Check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook link page link is in the description below, so go give that a like. And, um, oh yeah. Hit the bell button so you're always notified when I upload. So, there we go, guys. Thank you for watching another video. I'm Will Donahue. You watch me and Puck Fans, and it's time to close the video down. Bye, guys.